guys, it's Monday afternoon, just after lunch, and I'm off today. Had to work this weekend. Unfortunately, I'm one of those kind of, you know, was born good looking instead of rich, so I gotta work for a living. Thought I'd do a little quick video of my bike and things I've done to it since I purchased it. Um, I did buy it used from a friend of mine. It's a 2016 Electric Glide. It was a police bike. Uh, I think it was in service down in Tampa, Florida. But uh, I really enjoy it. So I'll just go over real quick and show you a few things I've done to it. Uh, let me turn this little camera around here. And there she is. Uh, one thing I've done to it since I've had it, I've put the new tires on it. These are Pirelli Night Dragons. And uh, yes, I did them myself. Took them off right here in the driveway and mounted them and balanced them and you know. Um, also put the bars on there. These are 12 inch uh, meat hooks. I didn't go any higher than that because uh, well, I thought these would be more comfortable than they are. They're really comfortable for me. I really like them. Uh, put this uh, little Sony stereo in here because uh, this bike was a police bike. It didn't come with a stereo from, from the factory. It came with a nothing. They put their, their communications radio in that spot right there. Uh, also, I have changed the seat out and put this Mustang seat in here. And uh, yes, I do really like it. I do several long distance rides, you know, five and a half, six hour rides on occasion, and it's very comfortable. And I also changed out the backrest back here with the back so that uh, Teresa can be a little more comfortable. She she really likes it. And I think that's the well. No, I got one more thing over here to I've done is uh, changed out the compensator on it. It was making a lot of racket. And all you know, the compensator is back down here, is hooked to the crankshaft on the engine. This is the old compensator. And if you'll look, yeah, look in them points right there, you can see they ground down pretty good. And so what was happening was these spots on here fit down in the side like that and it turns to take the torque up and so as they were going through them grooves and cutouts in there right there it was making a god awful sound i mean it was really bad when you when you crank it now it run it just running down the road it, it was okay but it was cranking so i changed it out and this is the box that the one came in it's from Man of War Motor Sprockets, Dark Horse Customs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some pictures on on here to show you the day that I changed it out. I didn't do a video when I changed it out, but I do have some still photographs. And you're going to see them here in just a second. Uh, that's what they are right there. All right, so that's just a couple of things I've done uh, to the bike. Um, it came with the little razor pack on the back already. Came with the Vance and Hines slip-ons on there. They're very, they're very good, good pipes. Sound real good. And I put the little emblems on the fuel tank as well. So, all right, so that's pretty much it. I just. Uh, so I'm gonna take a few minutes to show you my bike and show you what I've done to it. And you know, I do everything myself. I don't take it to the Harley dealer and I don't employ anyone else to do the work. I just, I go out here and I do it. I enjoy doing it. Uh, the compensator probably took about, from start to finish, probably about four hours. You do require a uh, couple different special tools that I didn't have, I had to go get. One was a, uh, a socket to fit the uh, axle nut, the nut, not the axle nut, but the nut on the transmission for the clutch basket. Um, but overall, it went pretty well. I was pleased with it. And that dark horse compensator does take a little getting used to. It's a little noisy if you don't ride the bike hard. If you drag it a little bit, kind of lug it a little bit, um, it's a little noisy. It doesn't like to be lugged. It likes hard riding. And well, of course, that's how I ride. So it works out great. But anyway, Hope you enjoyed the video and if you do get a little bit of a 
sound, the unga ungodly sound when you go to start your bike and it's coming down from the engine, you sound like it's gonna come apart on you or sound like you got a bunch of gravel in there. Um, you may wanna consider the um, compensator, could be the issue. So you guys hang tight.